Kids Educational Games, kidseduc.com. Hello and welcome to the course on air pollution. Moving around the course is simple. Once you complete this course, you will be awarded an air quality index chart that you can use to mark the quality of air around you. Hi, my name is Bixie, and I travel many places to collect honey. During my last journey, I came across a lot of smoke and dirt in the air. I got sick, and I was not able to collect any honey that week. Do you want to know why I got sick? Yes. Great, so today I'll show you how to tell the difference between fresh air and polluted air. This will help you avoid becoming sick. By the end of this course you will be able to tell the difference between fresh air and polluted air, use the air quality index to identify clean and polluted air, identify activities that relate to the levels of the air quality index. Are you ready to begin? We all breathe to stay alive. If we breathe dirty air, we are most likely to get sick. Plants and animals breathe air too. Let's look at what happens to the sunflowers when they are exposed to a lot of smoke coming out of the factories. Apart from smoke coming out of factories, there are a lot of other things that make the air dirty. Identify which of the following things around us pollute the air. Cars, burning coal, home heating, dust. Correct. These are things that pollute the air around us. Air pollution started with the burning of coal and fuel in big industries and factories. Smoke that comes out of these factories pollutes the air. Bad gases in the air that are harmful for our health is called air pollution. Today, air pollution is caused by vehicles, especially cars. Let's find out what gases make the air dirty. Particles in the air that make the air dirty are called pollutants. Smoke. Pollution is caused by the smoke coming out of cars and factories. Smog. Burning of coal releases a lot of smoke in the winter season. Smoke combines with fog to create smog. Particulates. These are very small particles, like dust and pollen, that cause allergies to sensitive people. But how clean is the air we breathe? We can measure the quality of air with the help of the air quality index chart. Let's find out how it works. Untie the balloons one at a time to find out the different air quality levels and their meaning. Green balloon. Air quality is very healthy and good to breathe. It will be a good day to play outside and enjoy outdoor activities. The yellow balloon. Air is clean, although there is some pollution present in the air, such as pollens, allergens, or slight smog. This is still a good day to play outside and enjoy outdoor activities. Orange Balloon You can participate in outdoor activities, however, if you suffer from health problems like asthma or allergies, you may need to exercise caution and limit some activities. Red Balloon Air level is dirty. You may develop health problems due to high levels of smog, smoke, and other pollutants. You are encouraged to avoid outdoor activities and limit to indoor activities. Purple Balloon 
Air quality is too dirty to play outside. You should avoid outdoor activities. Maroon balloon. Air quality is too poor and harmful for the entire population. Avoid outdoor activities completely. Let's try out an activity. Kidsaduck.com Identify the games you can play in the different air quality levels. Yellow, moderate, 51 to 100. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Correct. Purple. Very unhealthy. 201 to 300. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Correct. Red. Unhealthy. 151 to 200. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Correct. Orange. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. 101 to 150. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Indoor activities. Outdoor activities. Correct. Green. Good. Zero to fifty. Outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. Correct. Maroon. Hazardous. 301 to 500. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Indoor activities. Correct. That was fun! You will now be able to protect yourself from the harmful effects of air pollution. Before I fly off to collect more honey today, here's a quick recap of what we learned so far. Humans, plants, and animals need clean air to breathe and remain healthy. Bad gases in the air that is harmful for our health is called air pollution. Particles in the air that make the air dirty are called pollutants. The air quality index consists of six colors. Green, good. Yellow, moderate. Orange, unhealthy for sensitive people. Red, unhealthy. Purple, very unhealthy. And maroon, hazardous. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the air pollution course. You will now be able to tell the difference between fresh air and polluted air. Use the air quality index to identify clean and polluted air. Identify activities that relate to the levels of the air quality index. Here's your air quality index chart. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the air pollution course. 